getting time with Ernie Barnes is not easy, but we were able to get you on a different golf cart. You okay riding with mine? I, I'll trust your driving. Okay, so this is a corn dog conversation. So before we get started, I got to give oh you one of goodness. these. You all right with that? And, and you got the best brand out here. <laughs> I'm not saying who it is, but it's it's the best brand. All right, let's go for a ride. We're gonna go around your building because I want to learn more about what you do as a swine superintendent. Sounds great. What does the swine superintendent mean? What's that job? You're basically in charge of the entire barn. Uh, I've got a crew of about a half a dozen people that help us do that. But like uh, this week, we've got 4-H pigs into the barn. I don't have a lot to do with the 4-H exhibitors, but if they need some help, if a water uh, drain would to plug up, we, we get a hold of maintenance if we have electricity issues. So uh, I'm, I'm supposed to be the know-it-all for the entire barn. And uh, more times than not, the barn runs us. But uh, <laughs> it, it's a great atmosphere to, to see all of our friends. Walking around here, um, people come in around your door and they want to look at the big boar. Is that, do you hope that they take a little further step into the barn? We'd like for them to, to see the young people. And, it's amazing how the young people we put next to the big boar will share their pork production knowledge with them. And uh, they, they get to ask all kind of questions. So it's a, it's a good educational opportunity for those uh, uh, young people to talk about the big boar as well as pork production here in Iowa. Ernie, when you walk around, I was asking about walking around the building and now I wanna say stop for a minute because when you look in and see all these families, I mean, right over our shoulder, there's a young family that she can't be much more than five or six. What is it like to see the generations take part in something at the fair like a hog exhibit? It, it's probably one of the biggest reasons I do this. Over the years, and I'm in my 20th or 21st year of doing this, I, I've seen two generations come through, mom and dad. We've We've uh, seen engagements happen here, and now they've got kids showing pigs here. From an industry standpoint, what are we doing right when we have a, sh a, a show like the fair? I, I think we're showcasing the youth of tomorrow. Uh, I, I, I say it lots of times that it's not about the pigs, it's about the kids. And uh, I don't care if these young people turn into being pork producers, if they're doctors and lawyers and they're willing to remember the positive sides of their experience here at the fair and showing they're helping us uh, whether they go to Cornell or, or some other New York University. Uh, so what a great opportunity for these young people to share no matter what they may choose to go into as their career. Well, we have other parts of the barn we want to see and I got more questions, so let's keep eating that corn dog. You mentioned earlier about generations. You can remember second generations. Um, that's an Iowan thing, a rural thing too, right? What is generational agriculture? I mean, you're from a, you know, just like in Mississippi, it, generations matter. Absolutely, you, you, you take the, the advice they give you, you, you hopefully can leave it better than you got it whether it's handing down land, livestock, or whatever. And I, I know my granddad, uh, we just had a small cattle operation, and he said, the main thing you can do is make my cow herd better than I had it. And uh, you always hope you can do that. Uh, but uh, the same with farm ground, leave it better than you found it. And uh, I, I think we try and do that, and, and Iowans are great at doing that. Yeah. Ernie, thank you so very much for uh, taking time and uh, enjoy your corn dog. I will, thank you a lot.